Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. American Idol star Yam Tanji has earned his first Billboard No. 1 just weeks after winning the show. Yam, 18, was crowned champion of season 21 of the ABC program and he's wasted no time in catapulting to the top of the charts. His track, I'll Be Seeing You, has topped rock digital song sales and debuted at No. 2 on the all-format digital song sales survey, Billboard reported. According to Luminate, the song was downloaded 11,000 times between May 19 and 25. M's cover of the ABA hit, The Winner Takes It All, has debuted at No. 19 with 2,000 sold. Overall, his catalog has moved 17,000 downloads between May 19 and 25, which is a 1,899% boost from 1,000 sold between May 12 and 18. Im was the first Pacific Islander champion to win the show in its 21-season history, but this season's finale has been plagued by rigging allegations. Following Yam's victory, many viewers felt the true champion had been ripped off and accused the show of being fixed. After an extended, three-hour-long final, the final three competitors, Megan Daniel, Colin Stowe, and I am each sang several songs as they sought the crucial last votes. Nearly halfway through the competition, Colin was eliminated, leaving just Megan and I am. And when I'm was crowned the winner, many took to Twitter to vent. American Idol is rigged. Colin Stowe was the best one out there, one person blasted. American Idol, I thought it was about talent. Another cried out, y'all really voted I am, couldn't be me, hashtag awful. While a third added, obviously the sympathy vote fix is in. A fourth said, America got it wrong. As a fifth directed his ire toward Ryan Seacrest. So Ryan I thought hashtag American Adol was a singing contest. Any reason why the obviously better singer did not win? Curious, just asking. Thank you. A few days later, Am responded to the claims that the Fennel had been rigged in his favor. He assured fans and critics alike that he doesn't mind the negative attention. Actually, he told the Daily Mail online that he was loving it. A lot of people are alike, Colin Stowe was robbed, or whatever. And I just love it, Yam said. He credited his late father Rodney Tanji, who passed away in 2021, with preparing him for the backlash. My dad always told me that your music's not meant for everyone. There's going to be people that are not going to like it, and that's okay, that's normal, Yam said. Everyone gets their own opinion. Everyone gets to think what they think. So it's fine. Over the weekend, a public relations expert said that regardless of the allegations, both I am and Megan are likely to skyrocket. Eric Schiffer, chairman of the Los Angeles-based firm Reputation Management Consultants, spoke exclusively to the U.S. Sun about the allegations fans have been making online. There are a few people that believe that there was some cable between producers, executives and the judges that said they must vote a certain way, Stiffer told the U.S. Sun. NDAs and confidentiality provisions would somehow mask all this. What likely may have happened if there was any rigging, it was a rigging of emotions in that you have a sympathetic singer whose father had recently passed and whose kindness and positivity mixed with musical talents swayed humans, in some ways maybe not even consciously. Two Rocket Careers Schiffer said even amid the chaos of the rigging allegations, neither Tanji nor Danielle is losing out. So we don't have AI, artificial intelligence, judges for a reason right now, Stiffer said of the competition show. If we're purely and solely looking at music, he may or may not have won. And that's the scandal and the dark comments coming from the internet and fans. But humans don't just sort only on one thing even if they justify it logically that he may be better. Schiffer also said he doesn't believe there is a loser in the situation.